Welcome back. There are two relationships between classes that we're going to study. Actually, there's only one more, and that's communication, and that doesn't take much study. But one of them is containment, and we'll look at that first. Containment looks like this. Here we have two classes, the basket class, which is the container class, and the egg class, which are the containees. There's a unified modeling language for people who do object-oriented programming. And it is a good idea, if you have to make an application, object-oriented programming, that you diagram what you're going to do before you start on it. Otherwise, you can make a huge mistake. In that diagramming language, there are two pieces that I think are worth knowing. One is the container class. And the containee class are connected in your diagram with a diamond touching the container class and then a straight line to the containee class. And in the diagram, you read this as the container class has a containee class. But really, it's the object of the container class has a, or has many objects of the containee class. We're going to implement the tree class, the one that we saw when we first started with object-oriented programming. Here it is, class tree. It has an initializer method that takes in the self, as it must always, and the height. And then we just store the height. It also has a print method, capital P, because it's my print. and It'll print a report of the tree and how tall it is. Here's our container, the forest class. In its initializer, we take in the size of the forest. By default, it's a medium forest. But it can be small, medium, or large. And if it is not, I'm going to raise a value error. Here's my value error with lots of instruction for my consumer of my class so that that programmer can successfully make a forest. I store that size and now I need a number of trees which will be eight if it's a large forest, five if it's medium, otherwise two for a small forest. Here's my containment step. This object of the forest class will have a list in it. The list then will be number of trees, tree objects that are instantiated in this list comprehension. The height will be random between 1 and 199. The forest also has a print, and this is the pattern for printing from container types. I make a report about my container. And then I go through each of my containees and ask each containee to print itself. In our testing, we make a small, medium, and large forest, and we ask each of them to print themselves. And then I'm going to make a huge forest and collect that value error and print what it says. Here are my three forests with many trees. And here's the printout from collecting my value error. OK, you are on for giving this concept a try. You'll make basket and eggs. See you when you're ready to move on.